Apple's iPad is clearly one of the most popular tablets on the market today. There are various models to select from, but regardless of whatever you choose, you will have one of the greatest tablets available, it may be difficult to choose which one is best to purchase. And because Apple is always upgrading and improving iPad OS, the iPad continues to add useful features such as widgets on the home screen, trackpad support, new Apple Pencil functions, and more Mac-like features, all while distinguishing the tablet line from the iPhone. iPad Air 5th Generation Apple has moved on to the M2 for the higher-end iPad Pro, but the M1 remains lightning quick in terms of performance, with an 8-core CPU divided into 4 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores. That means you get insane power while remaining power efficient, the 8-core GPU produces stunning visuals, while the 16-core neural engine and 8GB of RAM result in quick processing and rendering, which is visible while performing tasks such as picture and video editing, it's already more power than most people require from a tablet, but it also means you'll be able to enjoy peak performance for many years to come. While no iPad can compete with the iPhone in terms of photography, the iPad Air has a high-quality 12 megapixels primary camera that does the job. More importantly, the front-facing 12 megapixels camera offers excellent video call quality and has Apple's center stage function, which keeps the focus on you while you move and automatically widens the view when friends and family gather. iPad Pro 6th Generation That big screen is also backed up by some serious power. Like its smaller sibling, the 11-inch iPad Pro, the 12.9-inch model is running Apple's M2 chip, the same laptop-grade processor that powers Apple's latest MacBook Air lineup. All of this extra power in the large screen means the iPad Pro 12.9-inch can handle nearly anything a modern laptop can do, up to and including some hefty video editing, and when that's all over, you can use that power to play some pretty great iPad games as well. If you want a large screen and high performance from your iPad, the iPad Pro 12.9-inch is the one to choose, However, the same caveats apply to the smaller iPad Pro, and adding the extra and desirable accessories would raise the price of the already costly iPad Pro into MacBook territory. Even with that in mind, this iPad is without a doubt the finest iPad for anyone looking for a tablet that will enhance their pleasure of games, movies, and other media. iPad 9th Generation The iPad 9th Gen boasts a large 10.2-inch Retina display that still looks great when you use it. If you still want a home button for Touch ID, you may buy it with the iPad's traditional design, it comes with the A13 Bionic chip, which, while a bit out of date, is still fairly quick and capable for the ordinary user, due to iPad OS 17, it starts with 64GB of storage, which should be sufficient for most folks who only want a basic iPad for reading email, sending messages, making FaceTime calls, and perhaps playing some games. While the back camera is just 8 megapixels, the front-facing camera has seen some improvements over the previous version, it's now 12 megapixels rather than the pitiful 1.2 megapixels of its 2020 predecessor, and it features center stage, so you'll always be in the frame on video conversations while looking fantastic. All of Apple's iPads are very fantastic, and they're all created with a somewhat different audience in mind, so it's difficult to select a single one as the best. After all, there's a perfect iPad for almost any occasion, whether you want the greatest overall iPad, the best iPad on a budget or something in the middle. So, there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Subscribe and click the notification bell for more tech news update. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.